Hey everyone, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. And today we are going to be starting in on a new group of marketplace journals or consigned journals. So if you'd like to be an artist with me this year, have me sell some of your work. I hope you'll send me an email. Uh, you can find links and email and all of that in the description box below this video. So I'm not feeling extremely creative today. I would like to be working on a journal, but I just, I just don't have it in me. I'm tired and not like go take a nap tired, but I'm just not creative, but I don't want to do nothing. So I have a box in front of me here of junk. Well, it's not junk. It's actually junk journal treasure. <laughs> uh, it's some great stuff but I really need to organize it, figure out where it's going to go, and um, maybe even package some of it for the shop. A lot of this stuff I got, uh, we had a bargain bins in our town, uh, mostly Amazon returns, and they're moving to Alabama, very sad, but because I got a lot of good stuff there. But Last week, they had fill up a bag, and they were giant, like those Ikea blue bags for $5. So I filled up two bags, um, so for like $11.28, I got a whole bunch of things, and they weren't all junk journal related, but some of them are, and I dumped them in this box. So I'm just going to kind of visit with you, talk about what I got, work, and then we are going to head over to the inventory room and do the beautiful flip throughs uh, that Michelle has made for us starting group six out and I'll just call it a day you know I can do only do what I feel like doing okay so I have a flexible ruler and actually I wound up getting like three rulers uh, one for one of my boys he's has been broken at school I don't know where they all wound up but um, oh, here's the other one. So I actually use these as tear rulers. They do work. And I always need, we're always looking for rulers for measuring things or tear rulers. And so I'm just going to put these with my other rulers. And then whenever anybody needs one, I know. Yeah, that was something falling. Dear me. Does that ever happen to you? <laughs> Let me show you. Oh dear. Oh, up here. Well, come on light. Okay. I had this here with these scissors and that's where I put the rulers and it just off balanced everything. Have you ever had to clean up a terrible mess like this? Oh dear. I guess I'll just, um, you know, let me see if I can set you up. Maybe I can have you kind of watch what I'm doing here. If that doesn't work, then we'll pause it. So this is the culprit, this giant book. And this was from, they set this aside for me at the wallpaper store. They thought I might like it. And there's a lot of beautiful images and things in it, but I had it in a very bad place. It's way too heavy. So I'm going to have to read, you can see my huge mess, right? Put that somewhere else. So this was what fell. And it's actually like a picnic. You can see it's all dirty inside from glue and everything else. But it's actually from Aldi. But it's for putting napkins and silverware. I just don't really use it in the kitchen. I keep my, my scissors in it. So I'm going to just try to, you know, maybe there's some things in here that don't belong. I'll try to use this as an opportunity instead of getting upset. Because right now I just feel like getting really frustrated. I'm not gonna, gonna try to not do that because it is what it is and it's a good opportunity to clean to organize now what made the biggest noise I think I'll take me to take you down here it's gonna be scary all right really scary because under my desk I have piles of stuff that I need to go through but I see broken glass, so something broke. What broke? I don't know. Do you see all that broken glass? I think, okay, well I have a cleaning bottle here, not broken. I have a water bottle down there. I don't know if that's broken. So I don't know where all that glass is coming from. There's gonna be, oh, looky there. So I have a dog bed under here. 
it was just a drinking glass that I had glue in upside down and that's what shattered everywhere. So there's no way I'm going to be able to hold this phone and clean it all up, nor would you want to watch me. So, so much for that. I'll see you when it's all picked up. Well, that was absolutely no fun cleaning that up, but we're kind of back on track now. So tape doesn't belong in there, but I just wanted to show you some of the cool things that I did find. Um, these are suggestion cards and I thought they were really cool. Suggestions, my suggestion is, my suggestion would benefit. I haven't opened it up yet, but I'm going to put these in the shop. So they should be in the shop by the time this video is up. And then these are collage kits and they're meant for putting on your wall. Hence the, what are these? Oh, that's a cute little hello card. Hence these little wall dot things, which I will actually use for putting things on the walls, just not these. They're really nice, like postcard. Well, of course, didn't realize that I had a bad word. Sorry about that. But I just, there's some really pretty cards in here that I was just like, well, I'll look at all the cards later. But I'll turn these into packs for the shop as well. I might have gotten more than one box of that, I'm not sure. I got multiplication cards. Those I'm just going to put in my stash because I'll want to alter them. Addition cards. There's that cute little. Then I got this play money. It's like Chinese play money. Oh, but the colors are beautiful. So I'll be putting these in the shop as well because I thought for Far Easternals they would be beautiful. Then I got some number 10 window envelopes. Put that in my stash for something. Got some subtraction cards. And now we're getting down to the trash and other things I have in the bottom of this box. So if you have a pretty massive craft room or stash like I do, then often you're going to wind up with boxes of just extra things that you'll need to go through. And so even just choosing one box here and there will make a difference. Got some empty spray bottles and I can use to put coffee in or something. And then this was a project that I forgot I had started. Wow. So I think right here I was stenciling this cardstock and I was going to put some cute little book pages on it. I guess I need to get to that and clean the rest, finish that project so I can put away whatever else is not part of that project. So I'm glad I found that and I'm going to add that over here to my craft desk so I can get that done. So I can get rid of that box. Look at all the mess. So much mess. So this is what's going in the shop. The fake money, the collage kit, well like the postcards and the suggestion cards. So those have been added to the shop by the time you're watching this. Now let's head to the back room and see what Michelle has made for us. So here we are in the back room, ready to look at Michelle's goodies. Um, she sent me a little gift. So thank you, Michelle. I love her, her gifts. She sends the best gifts. I love these little ones. I just finished using one for notes. What else did she send? Well, she just wrapped it up, so I'm trying to figure it out here. So perfect, one of these little booklets that I love using these, and a traveler's notebook. Nice. Thank you so much. I will have to find a special use for these. Thank you so much for thinking about me. And then just a little note. So thank you so much. All right. So let me set that with my goodies over here and get into what we have for the shop. So it looks like she actually made some of these little notebooks. They're amazing. Like seriously, they're so well done. And I can say that because um, I have at least one. 
and I've used at least one, and they're truly great. So it looks like a pack of three. They're just a random assortment of papers, but you have that feel. These are so great for notes. I kept mine by my computer, um, and I used it last year in, I think it was like November and December, and I loved it just for keeping notes and things like that. But you can see, I think they're jelly prints um, that she's done, so she's definitely an artist. And I, I would want to keep all three for myself, but of course you could gift keep one and gift some and you could decorate it up if you wanted to and add a add an image on the front and do a bunch of work inside of it I just used it more like I would a mini composition notebook and um, it's just so much more fun than a mini composition notebook so there's those colors and then these colors they're extremely similar of course you can see here they're pretty much the same so I'll just say uh, quantity two because they're almost identical, just little differences. But if you get both sets, of course, there are little differences. So you would have six different ones. So we have those. Let's see, what else? I haven't unwrapped all this. I just thought it was so pretty with the butterfly sticker and the crinkly paper. I hate to, to tear it, but I'm going to keep this paper. I do keep a lot of the wrapping um, papers, but that's a really great paper, and I'll be able to use that for journal cards or something. So here is the first journal we're looking at. Looks like maybe it's an oriental theme. Look at the dragon on the front. Beautiful. She has inspired my journal making, especially her covers, more than most. I just love what she does. Okay, so let's take a peek. Do we have a name? Golden Dragon. She's used digitals from Leanna Scrap, Tracy Fox, Pink Monarch Prints, Digital Collage Club, and Victoria Designs. They're all amazing shops. I'm familiar with all of them. You can't go wrong at all. I love, I just love how she collages things up. I am still not quite to that level, but I'm getting there beautiful. She always does so many beautiful stenciling and hand-dyed papers. Look at the little wax seal with the string around it. The little old tape. Beautiful. Now, I guess I should mention this because if you're new, you might not know this, but the little like, little mini notebooks and things that she's showing, that she's selling, that I just showed you, she is allowed to sell those because she's actually one of my suppliers. My suppliers are handpicked. I have a limited number of them, and they're allowed to make other things besides journals um, for my shop. I need help stocking my supply section, and so Michelle is one of those who helps me. If you're just a regular artist, um, or you're looking at selling journals, don't look at the video and go, oh, well, Michelle sold little mini notebooks so I can make mini notebooks. Unless you're actually a supplier, you have to stick with the journal guidelines that I have over on my Facebook group under the featured section, which means something like this, you know, embellished at least 60 pages. I give a whole, a whole thing. So just just FYI, in case you were wondering, sometimes um, artists will watch a video and see, oh, look, they, they sold snippet rolls, and then they try to send snippet rolls, but I can't take supplies from everybody, um, at least not at this time. I am looking at the possibility of adding a new supplier in the next month. I'm not 100% sure on that, but if you think you would be a perfect fit, Go ahead and just send me an email now so that way i can keep you in mind if that spot uh, does open up we will see how that how that goes we may be expanding slightly so we will see how that goes what a gorgeous journal i love that golden dragon remember free shipping anywhere in the united states in my shop exact shipping worldwide the link nevermorecreations17.com so, oh puppy, my puppy's um, barking at probably the trash guy. When you have a beagle mix dog, these dachshund and beagle, they bark a lot, or they howl a lot, I guess. 
All right, so this is a, a challenge journal for our new group that we are showing. Excited about this. If you wanna get in on the next challenge, now you do not have to create journals that are challenge journals. Like Golden Dragon, this was not a challenge journal. Uh, Michelle just thought up this theme. She created it, that's wonderful. But if you want to have a little bit of extra inspiration or extra um, challenge, I have, I have challenges that I run every couple months. And this is called Group 6 Challenge. Group 7 has already been announced. So Facebook group is where you'd want to find that under the featured section. But look at this cover. Beautiful. We have a little metal gear and a little wooden butterfly. Kind of like a sewn up Franken page fabric on the spine. And this is called Birds and Botanicals. And she's used these digitals from my shop. Daily Life stained lace outside grandma's window miscellany and then she's also added digitals from liana scrap and pink monarch prints so stained lace would be this one back here really pretty i might i don't know if i'll get everything pointed out it's not really the goal but show some things anyway this is daily life outside grandma's window which I created um, in memory of my grandmother who passed away when I was like 21, like quite a 15 or so years ago. Um, but this is just, it reminded me of her. And so the, I made that in memory of her. Beautiful bird, bird themed journal. Gorgeous. She's added a little bit of Oh, this is from Daily Life, I think. Love her collaging. There's the stained lace in the background here again. Stained lace is becoming one of my favorite paper packs that I've made. I didn't realize I would love it so much. This is from Daily Life, and she's added stained lace here in the middle. There's that stained lace again. So pretty. Lots of journal cards and tags. Beautiful pages to journal on. Little pressed flower bookmark there. Oh, here's more from Outside Grand Miss Window in Daily Life. The miscellany would be some of those little ephemera uh, pieces that you've seen throughout the journal. Beautiful, Michelle. I love, this is one of my favorite covers you've done. That's a gorgeous cover. All right. We have another challenge journal. Right now, artists are limited to two challenge journals, but they're not limited to other themes. Um, I used to have unlimited challenge journals, and then I'd get like eight journals with the same theme and have a hard time selling it. So right now I have uh, two per artist. If that changes in the future, I will definitely let you know, but... For the foreseeable future, it's still two. Isn't this beautiful? I think this is decoupaged on the front here. We have fabric on the spine. It's nice and heavy. Got a beautiful paper strip there. Three signatures. And this is called Playtime. Let's see. Designed as a hybrid glue book art journal writing journal. She's used daily life stained lace outside grandma's window miscellany as well as Leanna Scrap and Pink Barnock Prints. You can find these Etsy shops. Some hand-painted elements as well. So this would be Daily Life. Daily Life. And some other ephemera. Love the ledger, of course. So glue book, that's where you glue down a bunch of things. So when you have a page like this that is probably from a magazine or a catalog or something, it's a great place to play with your collaging and to glue down, practice like a collage with papers over it. And then, of course, you have gorgeous pages for you to add pockets and to write in. You, you know, cover those pages you don't care about as much or the ones that you want to alter like that's really pretty with that little fireplace and the plant so I would probably personally leave that oh look at that okay so some of these are probably from miscellany my ephemera pack I have done so many ephemera packs 
that I forget which ones go to which. These birds are from outside Grandma's window. Beautiful on there. But obviously you have a white page here you could cover. We have some braille paper. Gorgeous journal cards. But like this, you could cover that if you wanted to. Add something maybe more inspiring. Got all sorts of little ephemera pieces from my shop. This is a painted, some kind of a mixed media paint there. It's gorgeous. Stenciling and different feels of papers. ledger and music that's from outside grandma's window some calendar which you know you could cover if you wanted to lots of different textures beautiful painted papers that she's done this is from daily life I don't usually see ones you do this big, Michelle. It is beautiful. And the sheer number of pages is incredible. Have this many pages. Little journal cards and note papers. This is from Daily Life. Sorry my dog is barking so much. There will be no way for me to stop him. He's outside. But until that pickup truck is not in the neighbor's driveway he won't stop barking it is what it is right gorgeous stenciling i love those papers you should um scan these digitally michelle when you make them beautiful Oh, many pages. You will not be bored in this journal, nor will you run out of papers. You will have, this should last you, glue book for 2022, or art journal, or whatever you want to call it. That's from Daily Life there, outside of Grandma's window. Some little postcards. Absolutely fantastic. I, wow. That was a labor of love. Do you have any paper left after making that journal? Okay. Um, then we just have a few. So the little traveler's notebook that she made me, she made three more here in different papers. I think, it, I think it's wallpaper. I always have a hard time with these. How are they wrapped? It's my fault, not hers. I just don't do well with closures. So I'm not going to open all of them right now because they're just, you know, a simple traveler's notebook with beautiful pages, but you can find them in the shop. How beautiful. So there's this uh, black and gold. And there's this one here. And then the one with the butterfly in the birdcage with some gold elements gorgeous so there are three different ones of those available so that's what we have for today super exciting i hope that you enjoyed it i'll see you back tomorrow with more inspiration don't forget to subscribe if you have not give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you all later